All right, welcome back. Welcome to this full court film for our absolutely stunning 2012 Range Rover Evoque. This is the uh, absolute top of the range dynamic Lux model um, and is also uh, the extremely rare and, and uh, massively sought after SI4 petrol engine. Um, extremely rare because like only a, a handful of these cars have made um, and also uh, only ever a, a handful of them ever available for sale. Uh, the specification on this car is absolutely mind-blowing. It's uh, It's got pretty much every single option box ticked. Um, the overall condition is absolutely incredible. Uh, we'll just have a sort of a good look around the car now. I'll talk you through some of the features that the car has um, and also just sort of point out any minor blemishes or anything like that, uh, just so that you have a, a full understanding of, uh, of, the, of the overall condition of the car. So this is our 2012 Range Rover Evoque. So this car is finished in the uh, absolutely stunning Fuji white. Uh, this is actually pretty much like the launch colour for the car when they uh, when this first came out. A lot of the brochures and everything like that um, all launched it in white, and it really does work so well. There's a number of different sort of gloss black accents all the way around the car, um, which uh, which tie in really nicely. Uh, we've got uh, brand new uh, gloss black badging on the front. Uh, we've recently just done this as well. A lot of the uh, standard ones do discolour over over the ages, um, and it's just something that always um, bugs me a little bit. So um, we just had all of those changed. Um, we've also upgraded the front uh, area down here, which is normally like a light sort of silver colour, um, and we've just um, we turned that to uh, to gloss black as well, just to really sort of tie in um, all the other bits and, and the sort of elements to the car. Um, things like the gloss black mirrors here, and obviously the roof. Uh, we have the full uh, fixed glass panoramic roof on the top as well, so it keeps the the roof area all black. We've obviously got black highlights and everything like that down the side here, and also around all of the window surrounds as well. Uh, we had every single one of the alloy wheels acid dipped, powder coated, and then finished in this really lovely dark grey colour. Um, do find that sometimes black wheels do get lost against um, against the cars and the arches and everything like that. So by um, by going from this rather than the sort of standard silver finish, um, again it just sort of ties in very very nicely. I hope you agree. Um, overall condition, absolutely stunning. Uh, Coming around to the front. There's barely even any stone chips or anything like that to mention. You're obviously going to get one or two uh, down to the age and mileage and usage of the car. This car has covered 50,000 miles from you. Um, so, uh, like I said, you'll, you'll get little bits of wear, but um, certainly nothing excessive, as you can see here. Round to the back, and again, we've got the, uh, the new black badging on the back there as well. And the SI4 denotes the, um, the four-cylinder petrol engine that this car is fitted with. And then round to the back, further gloss black highlights on the um, on the rear of the car on the sort of diffuser and everything like that as well but it looks absolutely beautiful really really nice indeed come around to this side absolutely same again no uh, no issues at all with any damage whatsoever all the mirror housing and everything like that all in perfect condition as you would expect uh, the underside the uh, engine area and everything like that has all been detailed and looks absolutely beautiful. And if we come around to the back, you'll start spotting cameras and things. We've got the uh, the rear cameras on this one. This car's got a full 360 um, degree camera system on it. Um, so you also get mirrors uh, with cameras on just down here as well. And then also to the front, uh, you can see the cameras down here. And it gives you a full 360 view all around the car. So I'll show you that in a second. And um, we have an electric tailgate on the car. So just pop this, it can also be done from the key. And beautifully clean boot area. No signs that the car's ever had pets in um, or has been smoked in or anything like that at all. All in really, really fantastic condition. And then you've got your spare wheel and warning triangle and everything like that underneath there. Just press this to close this one down. We jump in the back and eagle eye viewers would have already spotted these absolutely awesome bucket seats that we have on the the Lux model um, and the sorry not on the Lux model on the dynamic plus um, package that we have on this car um, that very very expensive option from new and again quite rare and sought after but they really transform the interior back of the car seats are in fantastic condition all the leather and stuff like that is all really really nice all the leather on the door cappings all in fantastic condition you've got the Alcantara rear parcel shelf that's up here and then Unmarked headlining and this huge panoramic roof that goes all the way across the top and you've got an electric blind that pulls out from there as well, which looks fantastic. 
and then just look at these seats really really spice up the interior on this showing very few signs of wear a little bit of discoloring just down there on the bolster um, but certainly again age and mileage wise really nicely kept and in lovely condition um, one final thing to show you on the outside is the fact that the car has um, fully keyless entry um, so you'll see these little um, points on on each of the door handles these are essentially pressure pads so you can press that one in there and lock the car and then when you're ready you can just put your hand on the door handle the key just remains in your pocket um, or in your bag or something like that and it basically just means that you don't have to actually physically use the key you can just press that one in um, we have power folding door mirrors which again can be set up on the key um, so that they'll fold in automatically and then we also have full electric adjustment uh, for these bucket seats and then we have memory um, settings on the side there for three different drivers um, and that uh, changes obviously things like the mirrors and the seating positions and things like that um, also upgraded Meridian sound system the speakers absolutely everywhere You've got larger ones down here these mid ones and then the tweeters up towards the top and then this beautiful leather trimmed dashboard the interiors have always been incredible on these but you'll see that continues all the way across the top barely any plastics inside actually everything's nicely leather trimmed and then the center console here uh, with all your controls and everything like that I'm going to talk you through absolutely everything in a second down in the glove box sorry the center armrest storage area you've got all of your connections for USB um, iPod aux uh, auxiliary in and also a, a 12 volt socket down there as well for charging your devices and then cup holders and another 12 volt socket just up here as well um, down on this side you've got your um, remote release for the boot so another way of, um, of opening the power boot then you get this lovely three spoke um, sports Range Rover steering wheel with paddle shift gear change all your controls for cruise control Bluetooth telephony um, and then also this car has been upgraded with a heated steering wheel which is absolutely lovely in the winter and then these are your paddles just up on here we'll just start the car up and you've got up here on your main instrument binnacle a full sort of um, driver's information system and computer and everything like that you can scroll through all of the various um, bits and pieces up on here so vehicle setup all of your trip computers and everything like that as well and you'll get small like sat nav instructions that come up um, if you put the car into sport mode you will see that the um, the dashboard changes here to this red color And that's like basically in full sport mode and all then back to normal drive and everything like that on here as well that's your normal takes all the red bits out of the um, out of the screen um, so if we come down onto here because we've got dual zone climate control so separate temp temperatures for driver and passenger um, we also have the heated front screen as well um, so if you just look up on here you might be able to see the lines on there so that um, that will actually demist it's like a quick clear windscreen which will um, demist very very quickly in the morning which is a really fantastic option um, as well as obviously a heated rear window full air conditioning with your climate control um, and everything like that uh, down to this main bit here and this is the, um, the famous sort of Range Rover gear selector which hides away when you're not using the car and then when you start it um, just raises out of the dashboard very nice and there's just a, tw a simple twist and turn on there to be able to uh, to select gear and then you have a number of different driving modes and everything like that on here as well so um, absolutely anything from obviously your dynamic driving uh, for sports driving normal um, and then all of the different special selections here so um, snow and ice um, sand ruts and, and things like that as well um, obviously a lot of these cars don't end up going off-road but I have used um, this sort of mode um, on similar vehicles um, in ice and snow and it really is incredibly impressive actually um, gets you out a lot of trouble um, up on here the car has because um, it's the uh, Lux models you have uh, things like the um, self-parking system on the car so uh, it'll actually uh, measure parking spaces and then um, reverse into it for you um, or parallel park as well which is all very useful and if I just hit the car into reverse we'll get the cameras up so you've got the rear camera up on there and then if we press all of this in fact let's go on to extra features hit camera you've got all of this sort of full-blown surround view camera I hope that's um, that's showing up so you've got 
different junction ones down here so we can if you're coming up to um to quite a difficult a, a difficult junction where you can't can't see down the road you'll actually be able to use the sort of wide angle cameras and everything like that to look to the side um and then also you've even got the side cameras up on here um as well which um which will show you the side of the car um so if i turn the, the wheel you'll actually see the wheel turning up on there and very very handy for not curving your wheels when you're parking so loads of different um, different views all nicely and easily set up from there uh, and obviously it all comes on automatically when you um, when you put the car into reverse um, ambient lighting uh, again you could, can um, can change the uh, the internal uh, color that you you have set throughout the car and there's basically sort of LED lighting all the way through here um, coming down um, at night time uh, and also across all of the doors and in the pockets and things like that so you can um, set all of that up so that makes it a very very nice place to look at at night um, we also have obviously full uh, DAB digital radio um, as part of the media package um, and this car has also got Bluetooth audio streaming um, and also the uh, television as well which is a really nice um, feature to have so we'll see this one up on here now this also has the, the dual view system so it's not just normal TV you have dual view which basically means that the passenger can continue watching the television and obviously listening to it as well um, while the driver is looking at things like the satellite navigation um, so that's a very very nice feature I'm just going to try and show you this one here now so from the driver's seat I'm looking at the satellite navigation but from the passenger seat they're watching the TV and it's really really clever very very cool but it basically just means again like I said the the passenger can uh, can be watching TV while the driver has a completely different view up here on the um, on the satellite navigation to see where they're going so that's a very very cool feature um, and again a, a huge upgrade um, on the uh, on the standard car we obviously have full satellite navigation for Western Europe uh, Bluetooth telephony for your for your phone calls um, as well as the media streaming and uh, pretty much like a full kind of control panel setup for the car as well so hopefully that's helped talk you through some of the features on here um, some of the additional safety features we've got I don't know if you can just see in the in the uh, side mirror there you've got the little um, orange uh, spot just up up there at the top of the, um, the camera that's basically um, a lane departure warning system to when you're driving along and um, we've got the same one on the driver's side and it will just flash to let you know that somebody's coming up in your blind spot and um, so you don't pull out in front of them so again a very very handy system to have uh, I think that's pretty much it on the inside obviously we've got additional stuff like um, automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers all set up through the uh, through here um, and then I'll just show you the blind as well it's a, it's a fixed window so this does not open um, as a sunroof um, but you do obviously get the full panoramic view and then that blind comes across here as well if you did want to block the sunlight out the glass is actually quite heavily tinted so it's um, it's not like it's too bright during the summer um, but if you did actually want to open that all up you can so yeah it all works very very nicely that's a really nice chunky blind as well not like some of these really light ones that end up sort of getting scrunched up and everything at the back um, but yeah I think that's pretty much it for the inside I hope you found the video useful it really is an absolutely stunning car I've not seen one with this sort of level of specification on sale for quite some time um, and again with the uh, with the all-important petrol engine um, so this is obviously absolutely fine for the uh, new ULES charges in London uh, it's a really punchy car, um, engine. I think it's about 240 brake horsepower, and is actually the um, the petrol engine from the from the Ford Focus ST as well. Um, so it uh, really it does uh, does get going uh, very very nicely. Um, fuel economy is uh, not massively great around town, but certainly out on the major roads, the, the the car isn't really working particularly hard. So um, on longer journeys, it it does kind of even itself out. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a really really lovely uh, car to drive. Um, if we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. I'd uh, be more than happy to help. And uh, ultimately, we'd obviously love to show you the car, take you out for a test drive and see what you think. Thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.